It was 1977. Humanity looked up at the stars and decided to send a messenger. Not a person, but a robotic emissary, Voyager 1. On September 5th, a Titan III-E rocket launched from Cape Canaveral, carrying Voyager 1. Its mission visit Jupiter and Saturn, then journey onward, forever. We built a machine the size of a small car, packed with the best technology of its time. Cameras to see, instruments to measure, a radio to phone home. This was no ordinary satellite, it was a pioneer. The launch was a moment of hope, a single point of light carrying humanity's wonder into the cosmos. Voyager 1 wasn't just a scientific probe, it was a symbol of our need to explore. The NASA team at JPL were true pioneers, charting a course through the unknown. They knew Voyager would eventually leave the solar system becoming a silent wanderer between the stars. It was a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic sea from our small blue world. The space race had pushed us to the moon. Now, Voyager was the next step. Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, were designed for a grand tour of the outer planets. The data they would send back would rewrite textbooks and inspire generations. More than a mission, Voyager was a symbol of what we can achieve when we aim for the stars. It was humanity reaching out saying, Hello universe, we are here. Voyager's journey was a testament to curiosity and collaboration. It was a leap into the unknown, driven by hope and ambition. The world watched as Voyager left Earth behind carrying our dreams, its odyssey would become one of the greatest stories in space exploration. Voyager's legacy began the moment it left the launch pad, and its journey was only just beginning. How do you send a spacecraft billions of miles? Not with fuel, but with physics. The answer, gravity assist, a slingshot maneuver using a planet's gravity. In the late 1970s, a rare alignment of the outer planets created a unique opportunity. Gary Flandro, a graduate student, realized this was a once in 176 years chance. As Voyager approached Jupiter, the planet's gravity pulled it in, then flung it onward at incredible speed. This cosmic billiard shot was the key to the grand tour. Without gravity assists, reaching Saturn would have taken decades longer. The navigation team at JPL had to calculate the trajectory with mind-boggling precision. A tiny error could send Voyager millions of miles off course. This technique transformed space exploration, making the outer solar system accessible. Every deep space mission since has used gravity assists. Voyager 1 proved we could harness the cosmos itself to explore further. It was a masterclass in celestial mechanics. We learned to dance with the giants, using their power to propel us into the unknown. Voyager's journey was only possible because we learned to ride the planets. Voyager 1 carried more than instruments. It carried a message, the golden record. A 12-inch gold-plated copper disc designed to last a billion years in space. Carl Sagan and his team faced a challenge. How to represent all of humanity on a single record. The result, 115 images, diagrams of our solar system, DNA, human anatomy and scenes from life on Earth. Greetings in 55 languages, sounds of wind, rain, a baby's cry, and the songs of whales. Music from Bach to Chuck Berry, from Peru to Senegal, a global playlist. The Golden Record is a message of peace and friendship, a snapshot of who we were in 1977. Will anyone find it? Probably not. But that's not the point. The real value was for us. It made us reflect on what defines us as a species. In creating a message for others, we created a message for ourselves. The Golden Record is a symbol of unity and hope. It reminds us that for all our differences we share one fragile planet. It's a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean, carrying our story. Voyager's message is a testament to our creativity and optimism. It's humanity's greeting to the universe. In 1979, Voyager 1 reached Jupiter and everything changed. The images revealed a dynamic world, the great red spot, lightning, auroras, and swirling clouds. But the real surprises came from Jupiter's moons. On Io, Voyager discovered active volcanoes, the first ever seen beyond Earth. Io was the most volcanically active body in the solar system, reshaped by Jupiter's gravity. After Jupiter, Voyager slingshotted toward Saturn. In 1980, it revealed Saturn's rings as thousands of ringlets shaped by tiny moons. Voyager gave us our first close look at Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Titan's thick, hazy atmosphere was rich in nitrogen and methane, a possible echo of early Earth. To study Titan, Voyager flew close, using its gravity to leave the plane of the solar system. This ended its planetary tour, but gave us a glimpse of a world shrouded in mystery. Voyager's encounters transformed our understanding of the outer planets. It was a worthy sacrifice for a glimpse of the unknown. 
By 1990, Voyager 1 was nearly 4 billion miles from Earth. Carl Sagan had a final request, turn Voyager's camera back toward home. The result was the pale blue dot, Earth as a tiny speck in the vastness. In that single pixel, Sagan saw all of human history. The image is grainy, but its message is profound. It's a lesson in humility, a reminder of our smallness in the cosmic arena. Our conflicts and divisions seem trivial from this distance. The pale blue dot challenges us to care for our fragile world. After this photo, Voyager's cameras were switched off forever. The image became one of the most important in human history. It inspires us to think bigger, to see beyond ourselves. Exploration isn't just about new worlds, it's about understanding our own. Voyager's farewell was a gift of perspective, it reminds us, we are all in this together. After its final look back, Voyager 1 entered a new phase, the Voyager Interstellar Mission. Its goal became the first human-made object to leave the solar system. The Sun's magnetic bubble, the heliosphere, marks the edge of our solar system. In 2004, Voyager crossed the termination shock, where the solar wind slows. Scientists waited for the final crossing, the heliopause. On August 25, 2012, Voyager detected a sudden rise in plasma density. It had entered interstellar space. For the first time we had a direct sample of the space between the stars. Voyager found the boundary was stranger than expected, squashed, distorted and denser. The spacecraft continues its journey, over 15 billion miles from Earth. It measures the interstellar medium, sending back precious data. Voyager is now an interstellar pioneer, humanity's first step into the galaxy. It's a testament to 1970s engineering and our enduring curiosity. Voyager's odyssey continues, plunging into the unknown. Communicating with Voyager 1, 15 billion miles away, is a feat of persistence. Its faint signal takes over 22 hours to reach us, nearly two days for a round trip. In late 2023, Voyager began sending back gibberish. The mission team faced a challenge, how to fix a 46-year-old computer billions of miles away. They deduced the problem was in the flight data subsystem's memory, likely damaged by cosmic rays. The solution reprogrammed the computer to work around the damaged memory. In April 2024, they sent the fix. After a tense wait Voyager spoke clearly again. It was a triumph of ingenuity and dedication. Voyager's legacy isn't just its discoveries, it's the ongoing human connection. The mission teaches us about curiosity, persistence, and hope. We refuse to give up on our distant messenger. Voyager is a symbol of our desire to explore and stay connected. Its journey is a story of problem-solving and resilience. As long as Voyager speaks, humanity's voice echoes in the cosmos.